Yo, 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 guys. Yoshi's back today with another video. Custom Tactics, FIFA 23. You know, we got to Elite Division, 20 and O's, Rank 1's, all that stuff. And so I'm going to give you guys what I've been using. But please listen before just making and copying the tactics. Please, please, please listen. Number one, people are going to say, oh, the team, this, this, this. We played with an RTG. You can see it on the channel. It works. Number two. Old gen, new gen, all that. Yes, 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 yes. You can use it for both. And number three, I will explain different ways because not everybody plays the same as me. And so I'm going to give you different things that you can do to adjust to your style of play. So please listen because I want you guys to all get rank ones. And so without further ado, let's get into it. As you heard me say, I'm rocking the 4 triple two. You can see here, doesn't matter where you put it. I have it as my attacking spot does not matter that's where I put it defensive style balanced you can use press press is OP this year the thing is with press if you do not win the ball you will get countered so if you're not comfortable with right stick player switching and you're not comfortable with defending I would not use press so I'm just using balanced you know maybe late in a game if I'm trying to come back we could switch on press but for starting a game I just rock it on balanced with 50 the depth 60 you can change the depth again similar to the pressing if you're comfortable you can move the depth all the way up to like 70 72 all that if you're not as comfortable you know drop it down to 50 if you feel like you're getting through ball too much you know lower down to 50 i'd say but i'm in the middle i play 60 um i feel i want to win the ball up the field where i also don't want to be too high up the field that i get counter through balled and so i use 60. build up play balanced change creation also balanced. I know some people like to use direct passing. Personally, I use direct passing on other formations, but for this specific formation, I do not like direct passing. The way they make their runs and all that, I'd rather create a run. I'd rather send my player on a run and stuff like that. And a lot of times with direct passing, they might kind of just like run away. And the way the spacing of the 4 triple 2 works, I don't really like the way direct passing works, so I use balanced. With 50 here. If you notice your wingers are getting too involved into the box, you can make the width higher so that way they stay wide and give your strikers more space. Personally, I like when they cut in a little bit because, you know, sometimes they cut in, sometimes they don't. This gives you more of an attacking option or an extra pass or, you know, changes things up so it's not just the same thing every time when you attack. But if certain there's certain players that will stay wide naturally and some players that like to cut in naturally, so you might have to change your width depending on that. Personally, I use 50. Like I said, you could maybe jump it up to like 70 if you notice but i feel like at that point if you want your players to stay extra 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 wide you might prefer using these same tactics tactics with just the 442 instead but we're using the 4222 and so this is what we're using 50 with players in the box five corners we, we put it on one we don't want to get countered off of the corner free kicks you can also put on one i put it on two so you still don't get countered but you still have an extra person up in the box you know to create all right, so like I said, four triple two. Now, we put both strikers stay central. And the reason we have this is I have my strikers. I don't want them going wide. I don't want Dembele and Neymar switching. I don't want Mbappe and Zaha switching. My strikers typically should be your best attackers. And so I want them in the box, always the ones shooting in front of goal, creating. And the way this formation works is... For me personally, I like to get a lot of ISO at the top of the box, meaning when I get the ball with Mbappe, he's one-on-one -on -one with the CB, Neymar has his one-on-one -on -one with the CB, and then Zaha and Dembele isolate the wingbacks. And so it's kind of like you are able to get your extra space, and that way you can dribble. You know, if, if you don't like that as much and you want to pass more, I'll give you options of how you can fix this so that way the tactics work for you. But like I said, regardless, stay central. I put my right forward on stay forward. That way, sometimes they'll keep dropping back to check in for the ball. But it's like they're checking when they shouldn't be checking. And so I have one stay forward, and then the other one can be on that balance and kind of just roam and do what they want. All right. CDM. You're more attacking of the two CDMs. Put on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center, and this new thing called deep line playmaker they added this year. And what this does is essentially when, you're, when you have the ball... Renato in this case, because he's my attacking player, he'll find space to be open for a pass, making it easier for me to recycle the ball around the field. And so if you just have them 
on just balance. Sometimes they both just stay back and not really give you an option. But with this deep lying playmaker, he'll come up the field enough where he's not going into the box or anything, but he'll be up enough where like you always have the extra passing option if you need it. And so I think it's good. It helps me when I'm trying to attack. I would use it. Conte, my more defensive of the two DMs, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, and cover center. Outside mids, come back on defense, get into the box. That's what we use on these. We want them to get involved into the attack, so we have get into the box. And typically, I do not use come back on defense because I like to get like counters. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they go up. Personally, I play them come back on defense because when you get into those people that hold the ball a lot on you or you have somebody that's overwhelming you with like eight or nine, you know, like full out going attack, it helps to have the extra defense. And so, you know, they're fast enough where they can get back up the field quickly. So we rock, come back on defense and get into the box now. It works. I would use it. Defense, everybody stay back while attacking. CBs are untouched. Wingbacks got switched to stay back. Goalie. If you notice, your goalie never comes for the ball if he's not coming out. You can switch this to comes for crosses right here. I just left it unbalanced for now. I haven't been having issues, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, adjustments you can make. One adjustment you can make, if you're struggling a little bit with the way the attacking is working in this, you can switch your more attacking of the two center mids to just play balanced. This way he'll drift more up the field, give you more of an attacking option rather than just having the deep lying playmaker on. If you put him on balance, he'll actually go up a lot and this will give you like almost like five attackers in a way. And so that's not, that'll definitely, you know, if you're using like a De Bruyne or something, Marquisio or I don't know, really just depends on your team. But if you have a more attacking player there, definitely putting it on balance is not a bad idea. The reason I use it on just stay back is because, like I said, the deep lying playmaker already allows him to kind of create for you but two if i want renato to go up i will just manually drag him up the field or i'll send him on a run or something of that sort and that way you always have the defensive support but when you want him to go forward you can just make him go forward yourself and so those are basically the tactics i've been using if you guys want to see my ultra attacking if you guys want to see you know defensive any of that stuff what i use to come back in games let me know i'll be more than happy to show you guys and also Feel free, feel free to leave a comment if there's any other formations you want to see and just let me know. I got you guys. If you want the attacking tutorial and in-game footage outside of what's already on the channel, if you want in-depth analysis of how to attack, let me know. I can show it in the formation with some gameplay, pausing, you know, the runs I do, what I'm looking for in my head when I'm playing the game. So let me know and as always, stay blessed.